Okay. Then let's go. All right, welcome everybody. This is the Hyannis Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission. Today is May 17th, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. To all persons deemed interested or affected by the Town of Barnstable's Hyannis Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission Ordinance under Chapter 112, Article 3 of the Code of the Town of Barnstable, you are hereby notified that a hearing is being held at Town Hall, 367 Main Street, Hyannis Mass, Letman's Conference Room, second floor, 5.30 p.m., on Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Please note that this meeting will be recorded and broadcast on Channel 18 and in accordance with MGL Chapter 30A, Subsection 20. Anyone taping this meeting to please make their presence known. Please also silence your cell phones, uh, you know, put them on vibrate or something like that, please. I will call the meeting to order. So, uh, uh, so uh, Commissioner Needham is absent. Uh, Commissioner Clark? Here. Uh, Commissioner Cronin? Here. Commissioner Doherty? Here. Uh, Commissioner Despidopoulos is also absent. Uh, Commissioner Kay, also Vice Chair? Here. And I, Cheryl Powell, am all, Chair, am also here. We also had the pleasure of having our alternate member, uh, Commissioner Cawley, here tonight. Yes. And you will be voting. Um, if you choose to do so, but <laughs> you'll be because of the quorum thing. Okay, so um, also welcome to our town, one of our town council liaisons, Betty Lucky, and some precinct three. Is that right? Correct. Could I also invite staff to introduce themselves, please? Karen Heron, Planning and Development Administrative Assistant, and Jim Cupfer, Senior Planner, Planning and Development. Okay. Well, we also had the pleasure of having one of our other town council liaisons, and that is uh, town councilor Nick Atzelis. Thank you for coming. Um, okay. So uh, we're hoping that at our next meeting, did you manage to ask? Is that all right? Should I, can I? Okay. All right. So we'll skip on. We do have correspondence with regard to our first applicant. I'll wait until we go into that. And I think. I think we've covered that. So the first one is continued business. Uh, Mr. Bornstein, would you like to come up to the table and sign in, please? Anyone a special one? What about you? Into the lion's den. Pardon? Into the lion's den. We don't bite, I promise. Oh, okay. We growl a little bit sometimes, but All we right. don't bite. I'm Mr. Bornstein. If everyone could please make sure their mics are where you can. Okay. I'm right. one of the worst offenders of that. I don't know right. to think about. Give me a minute. Get it all out. Case. If I could ask you to sign in, please. Now, Mr. Bornstein has been before us uh, in, in the past. This is a new application, so. You know, nothing with regard to previous, just want everyone to realize that. And uh, we're happy to see you before us again. Please tell us a little bit about right. your project. Uh, when you have this is an interesting project. Uh, in Mashpee, we run a very large car storage facility, self-storage. And we must have 10 calls a week to bolt marine storage. And we try handling it. We're just not geared for it. We do two, 300 cars. We have 800 customers in that complex. And we just couldn't handle the boats or the gear. It would, it would have odors being in the salt water and slime and everything. So we've been looking to do a bulk storage facility for a while. And when we weren't successful on the dockside project, which I'm sure everybody here is familiar with, uh, we looked at what we could do with the project. And we looked at the idea of doing a boat marine storage facility on this land. And one of the reasons it's appealed, it's a matter of right. We meet the zoning requirements, which is under review with the building department. And we decided we build something that was unobtrusive as we can. The building's about 16 feet high. 
eighty percent of the face of the building were all doors. Uh, some boats are need a fifteen foot door to get in. So this is basically a storage for boats and marine gear, from lobster traps to fishing gear to rubber boats to dock boxes. You name it. If you get a chance to go down to West Marine, you get an idea what they sell down there. My cell is full of boat gear, which doesn't make my wife very happy. So we did about nine different designs. Some of the things we had to make sure the fire department could get in and swing in, and there was enough room for everybody. And the whole project is around 15,000 feet, which is something like 10% of the land coverage. Uh, we don't allow any parking in there or any outside storage. It's, everything's in the doors. To make these buildings unique, they're not heated, there's no insulation, no plumbing, no electricity, no gas. They're basically metal boxes to house boats and boat gear, primarily boats. We've had, already from people know what we're looking to do, we've had a half a dozen people that want to already sign up to put their boats in there. This is a need, there's no place in Hyannis, marinas are too small. If you have a boat, you know, the, from cushions to fishing gear to lobster traps to rope gear, it's incredible what you can collect on a boat that you don't keep on a boat. And even when it's on a mooring or in the harbor, you have different gear. So we decided we would look to put this in. Now, there's two versions of this. It comes with a flat roof and try to accommodate everybody's that we've talked to. We also have it with a... a, a Hitch roof, which looks probably a little better. Uh, we have a list of colors that will fit the historical colors. Be a light blue with a cream color frame. Uh, and I have samples here. And there's, if you don't like what we have, there's about a hundred of them to pick from. And I'll show you. I think you've all seen the layouts. This is basically. Uh, let me break it out. This is a. More or less what you would see on it. It's, yeah. I, I will share this. Okay, it's it's nice. You can pass them down a few. I'm sorry I didn't print up many. I, That's not a problem. We're ha very I've happy had, to I've share. I've had a lot of meetings the last three days. I just haven't had the time to do what I want to do. And this is what they look like. And one of the things about these, uh, these areas, to differently storage facilities, have seven to eight foot wide doors. Our doors will be 12 to 14 feet. In some cases, maybe even 15 feet. The whole idea of this is we have one building that's 34 feet deep. And somebody's got a 23, 24 foot boat on a trailer. The trailer has a piece on the end. We're gonna back it in so it will be able to service that size boat. Uh, one of the things, the advantages of it, they won't be sitting in people's yards with stuff on the side of the houses. It'll definitely improve the neighborhood. Uh, there's a couple versions of it here. You can pass that around if you'd like to see it. And there's also another version, which is a flat roof, which it was less money, and we would look at that because there's some 10,000 of these built in the United States uh, alone. That's how much need is needed on them. This is another version, which is a flat roof, and I'm sure pitch roof is going to be more favored than a, than a pitch roof or a flat roof, and I'm happy to pass those around, too, if you'd like to see them, just for reference. Uh, a lot of the larger marinas, and I'm talking marinas in the larger states, have these facilities on the marina site, but here we don't have the luxury of that much land to do it. Uh, there's a point of interest where in the middle of doing 200,000 more feet in the park for uh, self-storage uh, and contractor storage. These are, these are needs. We have a waiting line up in Nash Street. It's three or four months, uh, and nobody is servicing the marine use down here. And considering how many boats we have and the need for it, uh, it's, it's really a plus. Uh, we're cognizant on the colors. And if you look at the site, we packed, we packed it with trees, which let me pull out the site work. Uh, we've treated it up okay. Uh, 
Here is a, another larger picture of it. If uh, anybody wants to see this, we'll pass it down. I'll hold one up. You got it, okay. And basically, they're not big buildings. Uh, they're, they're small, they're manageable, uh, they're inexpensive to put up. They'll be used year round, and it will only be marine used because there's no heat. It's no insulation. Uh, Stuart, every, and, be careful of your microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Uh, so it's a, it's a small project. It's only 15,000 feet, basically 16 feet tall. Uh, and there isn't going to be an awful lot of traffic in there. We find traditionally in storage once a month a lot. Once a month is a lot for people to visit. We track it. We have 800-something bays, and we have... 55 hour man hours running it. That's two, two, two retired fellas part time on 800 of them because it just isn't that much. Everything's handled by computer. They, they, they come in and they mail it. When they load it up, we'll have a person there to make sure what they're putting in in each unit. We're cognizant. There's no hazardous waste. We don't allow any barrels. Nothing. We got the liability if somebody does something they shouldn't do. And we find most people. Uh, we got their address, their license, we, they fill out all kinds of contracts, and they're pretty law-abiding to our regulations. Our contract's a pretty thick contract. And uh, in 10 or 12 years, we've never had a problem with the only five-star rated storage facility on the East Coast, which is pretty impressive. Uh, and that's what it is. It's a very simple uh, contrast. It is metal. But the metal is bent in, so it doesn't look like metal. And again, the 80% of the face of it is all doors. And I, again, if you'd like to see some idea of colors, uh, we have some baby blues. I have cream colors. That's a great color. You don't want to see that one. Here's, here's maybe better. This is a blue that we would look to use, and if you didn't like that one, we could do something different. Uh, there's another sample around here I have someplace, but uh, it might be in this bag here. Yeah. It'd be an off-white on the trim. Nothing loud, nothing comes out uh, soft. Uh, we have, uh, we'll be using street lights to illuminate it. We'd be hiring lights from the electric company to illuminate it at night. Uh, there's no fence around it, so nobody can hide in there for uh, any homeless issues. It's all exposed, so it's easy to keep an eye on it when anybody drives by. And that's basically I'm open for questions. Um, so the gentleman that joined us, is that your son? Aaron. Yes. Yeah, you take your glasses off. So you uh, I'm sorry, I had an eye exam this morning in my eye. No problem. I just yeah. was wanting to make sure that we identified you. Okay. Thank you. Um, and feel free to keep your sunglasses on. Hope you're doing okay there. Okay, so um, questions on the presentation from the commissioners for clarification. Uh, I just have a question for Jim. Uh, can I have clarif clarification on the zoning for that area? Yep, so uh, this is zoned in the uh, the Harbor District, the Highness Harbor District. Uh, the allowed use marine storage, boat storage is an allowed use. Uh, it is in front of site plan right now. Uh, it was continued uh, at the request of the, the request of the building commissioner to get further information uh, for the differences between self-storage and marine storage. Self-storage is a prohibited use. Marine storage, boat storage is an allowed use. So it's a, it's a nuance that the building commissioner is looking at. Uh, so there's further information there, obviously, for this commission. Um, you know, the, the guidelines don't speak to use because that is, that is a caveat of the zoning itself questions thank you any others I have some but I always try to leave mine till last uh, you said the traffic uh, I understand like a, um, a a normal storage unit once a month is probably a lot <clears throat> but this is boat storage so in the summer they're going to be in there every time they use their boat uh, typically most of these boats are out on a mooring or on a dock uh, but the gear gear that you collect is incredible and I I got a, a garage full of it a 
garage full of gear. You just acquire it. Uh, yeah, there'll be some people that'll take it out and bring it back on a Sunday night, very possible. Uh, majority of these things are uh, a lot of commercial people, basically, that are, will need it. That's what we get a lot of calls from, and they don't tend to take their boats out of the water too often. Uh, there will be some residential people that will take the boat in and out of it. Not, they don't necessarily use it every week either. Those that have them in, uh, usually they expensive, keep the boat clean. But overall, if you look at the number of bays we have, you're not going to have, like I said, we have, uh, like I said, I'm sorry, uh, we have an average on 800 bays in car storage, uh, a busy day, a busy day on a Saturday is six to seven people. That's basically the cars coming in and out of upstairs storage is almost nil. I mean, it's, they put it there to forget about it. They don't want to visit it. But the traffic, I, I haven't got a number on it, but any, any of these places you go to, there's just, there's nothing there. I mean, a lot of them aren't even manned anymore. They have an electric gate, which we have in our other place. They put their card in, electric gate to go upstairs in the elevator. It's just not a lot of traffic there. Uh, we don't find, see it'll be an issue at all. There isn't that many bays. Uh, the, there's, there's like, uh, uh, let's see, on this one here, you'd have eight. You'd have like 15 to 16 bays on the big long one. Uh, and if you had two people a day in and out of that long one, that'd be a lot. You know, this is such a beautiful piece of property. It would be a lot less traffic than the former existing use, which was a restaurant. So I don't think that changes. Restaurant had 400 cars a day in there. This is such a beautiful piece of property. Uh, is there a final? There's a lot of sketches going around. Is there a final sketch that you des decided on? Or well, let me let me be quite honest with you. Uh, we've had over 65 people call, come to my office, upset, really seriously upset. We didn't get the dock side. So it's out of our hands. And we've been asked uh, a dozen, two dozen people, main people in town, even in the town hall, to come back and do it again. And I got to tell you, I'm tired. <coughs> I've spent over $200,000 on this last trip. In 25 years, three times, $840,000 to date. That's actual money out. And as much as that would have given a million dollars to the town and really give us a, a stabilize of what the downtown was, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm really worn out. This is an inexpensive project to put out. It cash flows. It is a valuable piece of property. We've been offered a lot of money for it, a lot of money, for somebody who wanted to do a drug rehab, an alcohol thing in there, and get $1,000, $2,000 a day. And I just didn't want to see this on the harbor. So I felt this would be a good place setter for the next 10 years. Maybe we'll come back. My kids will worry about it. I won't worry about it. I probably won't be here. Mr. Bornstein, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but the previous application, I, I want to stress as I did at the beginning, this is a different application. I understand. He wanted some history on it. Okay. So I'm giving I I'm just history. the guy. I, I asked. Okay, is, basically, is there a final design? This, is, this is going to be our final right now is what we're looking for to do on the this property. This one here? Excuse me? This one here? Is this the is the design of what will be built. I mean the design of the building. There's a lot of different... Yes. Well, basically, the one that you see, they're very similar. That you're going to have a building. Uh, if, you, if I got some of the back, you're going to have a pitch roof. It's going to be 16 high, and that's that's what it is. It will be a white and a baby blue facade. So it's this this one here. Right? Well, that I think I don't know which that's one you got. Flat. I can't. That's, that's a flat, flat roof. roof. You won't get the flat. No, you get the. But then there's a the peaked roof on the other side. The peak roof is what you're going to see. No flat roofs. That's correct. And it's going to be blue and white. Blue and white is the colors I thought would fit good where it's nautical. And it'll be a soft blue. And if you're not happy with that blue, there's about 15 more in here. We can, You guys can pick the colors. I'm, I'm open to that. In fact, there's two blues in here. Uh, it'll be a white cream trim. And uh, it's too hot. This is, this is normally what you see. But this is the one we're looking for right here. And it's a standard 
blue, and if that isn't it, we can pick another one. I, I can leave it up to the whatever your your flavor is. Uh, and this is the this is the design of the complex with the peak roof. It'll be basically all doors. What about landscaping? Landscaping is quite heavy. We've we've looked at the bylaws on it. We're trees every whatever is called for on the uh, zoning bylaws. We've adhered to it, and it's it's all there. It'll be kept up. Any other questions before I put some questions? Commissioner Cronin. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, I would like to see a uh, definition. You said primarily boats, but is there a possibility that there would be other items stored there other and than gear? gear. He just stressed gear. Gear, gear and boats. Okay, well, because it's primarily boats, but I just want Lobster wanted, traps were mentioned. But he also had, it, he has would, vehicles over in his other one. I just want to make sure no, it was clear. A boat storage Boat facility, storage, okay. And accessories that go with a boat. Boat That's, and accessories. It's all that's going to be allowed in there. Okay. It's, it's, it's geared for it, and there's a big shortage of it. Nobody has it on the cape. And before we even finish it, it'll be sold out. Uh, another question is, um, will there be any... Um, issue if boats are being stored there and there's a leak or if there's any uh, damage inside the facility? Uh, we we don't foresee that. We haven't seen them. I'm not going to say never, never, but we uh, in the past we keep uh, leak protection equipment. We have barrels of absorption of oil and it's available. It's out, out there to anybody that needs it. Uh, typical boats don't I'm not to say they don't leak, they're not like a car. They're pretty kept up. The guy's life depends on it when he's out on the water. You can't pull down to a gas station and get it fixed. There's always something, but we don't see that. So you don't see any drainage at the bottom of the um, facility, so I would imagine there would be regular drainage for... We will have oil separators in our drains. Okay. So if anything happened, it would be separated and, and, and isolated. And the number of units that would be here? Uh, we haven't uh, quite determined it because we're getting feedback. Uh, if you take a typical 100 by 34 and the doors are typically 14 feet, uh, 15 feet, which is could likely, you're going to have roughly 6 to 7. What's 7 into 100? Uh, any mathematicians here? I can't think. Uh, about, you'd have about 6 to 7 bays in each one of these units. We may go down a few in a so you may have eight or nine in one of them and six or seven on the other. And, and these units in here will have smaller doors. So you would have uh, probably on this one here as many as, uh, uh, let's say, 20 maybe, maybe less. And on this one here, where it's smaller, you probably do about 15 or 17 thereabouts. It's, like I said, it's not a big volume. It's not a lot of people in and out of there. It's a very specific use. And these doors, a normal eight foot door is only $300. These big doors are four or $5,000. So it's a, it, we're not putting them on just to store anything in there. It's very specific. That's all the questions I have right now. Any Thanks. other commissioners before I have some? Commissioner Kay. Yeah, on the 135 by 30 building on the right-hand side. Yeah. Uh, I'm a boat owner, and uh, I'm moving around with a truck. And I assume the doors on the smaller are facing east? If they're facing out, yes. In other words, they face out toward the street. Well, there's a dimension on here. It looks, it looks like 18 feet to the curb. So... Yeah. I'm questioning how he's going to get a truck with a trailer. Actually, it's, tr it's, 20, it, it's 25, 23, uh, according to this one, to where uh, I got 25. You got 25 on the left building. Right. You got 19 between them. On the small one. And you one, got 18, 1 we, we, on the right hand. We imagine Zodiacs, smaller boats. So you're not going to accommodate oh, yeah, anything over mix. there. Yeah, in other words, people got a 12 or 14-foot boat that comes on a trailer or the back of their car. So these are for small boats. Uh, some people, be candid with you, just may put 
lobster gear or, or fishing gear in some of these things. Okay. So we, we have, and the problem is we can't put it in with our other storage because it has an odor. It, it, and this is by itself, it isn't going to bother anything. But this is for small, it's for everything, for the whole industry, basically. Does that answer your question, Commissioner Kay? Yeah, uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, even a small car with a small boat couldn't get into that door on that building. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. So you're going to have to transfer from a truck into the building. You'll, you'll carry a Zodiac. They'll come in the long way and carry a rubber oh, Zodiac. Oh, yeah, you can carry for yeah. that kind of thing. A Zodiac's yeah, that's, different. That's what they use. It isn't all for big boats. It's, it's, a, it's a mixed market. And, and, and we think we're talking to... A, I don't know, I have a bunch of people talk and they tell me this is a good mix, talking to different people in the boat business, people that sell boats, what they need, uh, what basing, what people have come to us and we have people that come in with canoes, three or four of them. And you know, their family can use a place to put them. And that we can handle in our place. So I mean, there's just so much just variety, rubber, dinghies, I mean, there's no end to it, what, what's out there. Like I said, take a walk into West Marine, it just, Mine, or even water boards are, uh, today, they're 20 feet long. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's quite a variety of boat stuff, and nobody here is doing it, and this is a great location for it. That's all I have. Okay. Any other, oops, commissioners with questions before I turn it over to public comment? Oh, no, I have questions as well, but any other commissioners, I'll go last. Then I'll open it up to public comment. Okay, I also had the question with regard to the number of bays, but it sounds like you're not certain yet. Um, it could be 20, then 17, which would be 37. You, um, the design does not seem to be exact at the moment. Which sign design yet? But you started out by saying that it was going to be 12 to 14 feet high, but then the last two times you're talking no, about it be, being 16 it's feet not high. Correct, uh, Ms. So, Powell. okay. So let me, please let clarify. Me if yeah. I could. Yeah. It's 16 feet high. 16 feet. Cross out the 12 to 14. And this is the design. It isn't going to change. The only thing that's going to change are some of the door openings. And the reason we haven't gone solid on it, we constantly get input what people have for size. And whether it is eight doors or ten doors doesn't change the building. It isn't going to change anything that would bother the historic board, the zoning board, or anything. It's, it's to accommodate what the market says we have to do. It's sort of like when you go in the Dunkin' Donuts and you've got four sizes of coffee, this, and it's on the shelf, which size do you want? This is what we're trying to accommodate. So... It's all rented by the square footage, and we're trying to accommodate everybody. So like I said, whether we have six or eight doors, it's all going to look the same. It isn't going to change the basic design at all. Thank you for clarifying that. So it is 16 as opposed to the originally stated 12 to 14. I appreciate the clarification. Thank you. Uh, the... Um it doesn't matter if it's 8 to 10 or 10 doors, but you go according to the market. We don't go according to the market. We have to go according to what our guidelines are. Um, and, but have all the abutters been notified? Okay, thank you. Uh, you're not clear on the street lights yet on what you're going to I'm do. Not, I'm sorry? You said you're not totally, you're going to have street lights, but you're, you haven't really defined those yet. Well, every light that is in the street, on every pole, we will have a light on the property. I believe there is three poles okay. that we're going to have, which will more than adequately take care of it. So you're not adding lights then? Not at all. Okay, so no added lights. Um, so you're talking about gear. I have a skipper's license. I have an international skipper's license. And gear can be enormous. You have not only uh, you, things like cleaning fluids for when you bring your boat back in to clean the boat. Now, the hoses and that isn't a problem, but there's a lot of chemicals. We you don't also have, have any way to wash a boat here. There's no water on the property. I'm talking about what you store. You said gear. That would be gear. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm not talking loud enough. I apologize. You said gear, all the gear that's on the boats, but the gear a lot. I used to always store. I've sold my boat now, but I used to always st store the cleaning equipment on the boat. As I did flares, there's flares and things like that. So Probably flares. I'm not saying no. 
We don't allow any work on these boats in the facility. We're very big on that. No, I'm not talking about work. I'm talking about what's stored. Oh, somebody has some household products. I carry a pail of soap, boat, boat soap and a few other things in a pail with sponges on my boat, and it sits there. And it's not very quantities. It's a, a quart at the most, maybe a little more, two quarts of mixed stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's there. And it isn't any worse where it's going to be. It's not huge quantities. It's, you also said that it could be a flat roof. It could be a peaked roof. So no, that's... no. Let me qualify that again. Okay. We're going to go all peak roofs. I showed you two versions, and I decided, or not me decided, decided basically the peak roofs are better look for what we're doing. It's all peak roofs. I'll clarify that. It's all going to be high, no higher than 16 feet tall. And just to make sure there's no ifs or make mistakes, that's what's going to be on there. We've spent a lot of time, a lot of work with planners and different build people that build buildings when they get production up. So we've done a lot of work on this. A lot of, so it's going to be a nice looking facility. It, it will be, it'll fit as nice as what was there before. Okay, so, and Laura, thank you very, or Commissioner Cronin, thank you very much for talking about the drainage. I had a concern on that. I am concerned about the gear weaves. As you stated, Can you speak no, louder? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thanking Commissioner Cronin for um, bringing up the drainage, so I think you've addressed that. But um, I am concerned about the gear because, as you stated, there's no end of it, uh, and that bothers no me. No end of what? You said well, there's no end of it to gear, the amount of gear that they bring in. Well, I so. say no, and they only put so much in. What I'm trying to say, the, the, the large variety that you can buy today, put on a boat, is takes up room. Mm. Not everybody has one of everything on their boat. They have what they need on their boat. There's different uses for different things. So of course don't right. go using that as something to put against this. That is not what we're saying. I can see where you're going with this, so go ahead. Expressing my, my questions and concerns. Um, so the last lobster traps I'm not worried about. Um, can you tell me how this is historical? Excuse me? Can you tell me how this is historical? Or just tell, give us an idea. Well, the marine use has been around since 1700 on the water. And if you look down in... Hyannis Harbor, you have a lot of similar buildings all around the harbor. No different than what I have. Some are five times the size of what we're proposing and four times the height all around the harbor. So historical, the only thing I can say is that we're keeping the flavor of the colors, uh, we're landscaping it, and we're keeping it in what the neighborhood is on the harbor. We're not doing anything that isn't out there already. Um, the other I'm, units that are, are like this are on the harbor are not in the historic district. That's correct. This I is believe. in the historic district. Well, I would think, if I'm not mistaken, it's correct me, that the Hyannis Harbor, everything on there is in the historic district. So it's all uh, from all the way around as historic district as Hyannis Harbor. Uh, I'm not saying this goes back to 1700, but it's the nature, this product, this is what how they build them. This is what it is. It's a fire rated shell, it's out of the weather, and it's, but like I said, over 10,000 of these are built in the United States, and uh, I bet you on the Cape we probably have a couple thousand of them alone. So I mean, it's, it's, we keep it, we try to build it so it fits in nice, we didn't overcrowd the site, we got good circulation, good backup as much as we can, we didn't put anything, any bright lights out on it. We landscaped it. We have people go around and water it from our water trucks, uh, which we have and which we do, so the plants take on really nicely for the first year, maybe part of the second year. Uh, and we have somebody come in once a week and pick up all the debris around it. If they have to come twice a week, we'll do that twice a week, too. We have two people that go around and pick up bags of stuff, not even on our own property, on a budding property that's next to us that nobody does. We do as what we can to clean it. So it, it'll be a clean looking site. It isn't gonna be something. I mean, we're renting it to people that are paying us good money and they don't wanna live in a, in a slum. They wanna live in something decent and this will be something decent. We're spending a lot of money to make it look decent and we're doing it on what we think is a prime piece of property and there's no sense to, 
degrade it with just something. So it, it was something that was an allowed use. I didn't have to go to the Board of Appeals. I didn't have to go to the Planning Board. It, it fitted everything. We tried to fit in everything. It would fit what we did. I know you'd probably like a tons of shutters and windows, but like I said, we got all, the whole building is all doors, basically. I'm happy to do anything. We'll probably have, if you like, uh, we, we can dress it up a little more nautical with uh, uh, nets and some outside lobster traps and floats. I mean, we can do that too, if, if, if you like. I just don't know how long it'll stay there before they get stolen. The neighborhood isn't, uh, how do you put it? It's not primo neighborhood down there. Uh, someone sent in a uh, rendition of uh, different storage units to dress it up. Yes, yeah, I'm going to read this into the record. I'm going to read this into the record as we go to public comment. Yes. So, because um, it's public comment. Uh, if there's no more questions, uh, Commissioner K. When you're saying that your doors are going to be variable in width, you still have demising walls between every unit. That's correct. So the demising walls are not mobile. They're fixed. They're fixed. So... All you can do is, if you're going to put a 16-foot door, you're probably going to have an 18-foot wide bay. So are all the bays going to be 18 feet? I, I, what we're thinking of, basically, we're trying to stay within a 14-foot wide door. A 24-, 26-foot boat typically is any, about 10 feet. The trailer's 12 feet. Two feet for the trailer to get in. That's yeah. how we got it. You can go bigger, but we have limits to what we can handle there. In other words, mm -hmm. when you get into a 24-foot uh, boat, uh, you're going to get into some lengths. And you, then when you get the tr boat, let's say the boat is 23, 26, you got the trailer with a tongue on it for another three or four feet. That's why we got 34 feet deep. Mm -hmm. Some of them are 30 feet deep in order to uh, accommodate different size boats. But you're not, you, you, you know, we're not going to get into those huge boats. We can't handle it. So we're keeping well, yeah. them limited to uh, roughly, I, I would say, 23, 24 would be a real big one. We wouldn't have too many of those, but the majority of the boats are 18 to 22. Occasionally you'll get a longer one in, but it's, it's what we can handle. We can't mm -hmm. handle those biggies. If I can remind people, we have a hard stop at 7, and we do have five more applicants as well. But, we, you know, we have to give ample time so it, it does that answer your question well it gives us a better idea on how many bays there can be if the demising walls are the same but the door sizes yeah. are changing the bay count looks like it's going to be what it's going to be mm -hmm. yeah. any other commissioner questions on the presentation before i open to public comment or to staff and a public comment just a procedural Calvert. question on the various designs we're considering to what extent does that become part of the application well, the application has the pictures and whatever, but we don't have the actual, I mean, we know that it was flat or peaked, but then he said it's peaked. Uh, we know that it's uh, going to be 34 deep and 135, 155, in some cases 100 uh, Chairman, on if length. I may. Pardon? If I may. Sure. Just real quick. So that's, a, that's an excellent question. So I think um, in order to kind of bring it all together here, I've heard a number of uh, kind of questions or clarifiers necessary. Perhaps the applicant is willing to bring back kind of the final design that, that has been discussed tonight with, with a, uh, an elevation rendering so that we can determine specifically, you know, the height. I, I've heard 16 max. Let's put that on a plan. Pitch roof. Let's put that on a plan. The colors specifically. Let's put that there. If no lights, let's maybe identify those, the lights at the the utility pole, uh, number of bays to Mr. K's point. Um, if no fencing, then that's that's fine. Let's, we don't need to add that. Uh, specifics on the landscaping as well. I know you have a robust plan here. This comes from the a previous plan, just maybe identifying what those plants are and how tall they are. So just some specifics that you could come back with so that this board could uh, yeah. you know, make an informed decision. That's perhaps. where I was going with this as well. Commissioner Colley. Just for convenience sake, for, for the gentlemen who are here, mm -hmm. um, is, is it the policy of, of our commission to give a preliminary uh, rendering, a preliminary idea? We have to have an idea. Uh, uh, 
So what that, are we so approving? Have to come back and go through all this work and then we say, can, you know, can, we don't can, I, can I interject something? Yeah. I'm happily agreed to use a pitch roof on the plan, 16 feet high. Your choice of blue, I can kind of, we can pick the colors out later as we go. But we are happy to submit this plan with a pitch roof, which you have pictures of. You can pick any one you like and we'll put it to the decision. That's fine with me. And that's it. I mean, coming again with everything, it's already here. I mean, there's no sense in uh, coming back and coming back. I, 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 I don't, it's a simple project. It doesn't take a lot. And I'd like very much if I can get a vote on it today based on what we talked about. 16 feet, this is the actual measurements of the building. The doors, we already indicated what the sizes are. And the buildings ain't gonna change. Whether it's six or eight doors, shouldn't make a difference. And the plants are all approved by conservation. These are the same plants, basically, we use uh, on all the waterfront plants, and we'll give you a list of those. And if you don't, we'll run them by ComCom, and they're okay with them, or they want to substitute them, we're willing to do that, too. One of the things we're looking at is wind-resistant plants. That's a problem we have near the airport. We really have an issue. But we're willing to sign an agreement or agree to what we're talking about, and nothing's going to change. It's, it's all there. I personally prefer Mr. Cufford's suggestion, but the uh, so that we have everything completely clarified. Number of bays. You said you had that your words were that we haven't determined that yet. Well, you know, I got to tell you, that's a work in motion as I get closer to construction. Okay, Market. I got. I, in other words, like I said, the building size is not changing. The building is there. That is not changing. The only thing changing. Uh, the openings, and the openings really shouldn't make a difference to the historical board, but they're there, but they're there, whether they're smaller blue doors or larger blue doors by a couple feet, shouldn't make an impact on this project at all. And what we're doing is trying to fit what the market is telling us they want, and it's like a moving market. We keep getting different things as the season goes on. And as we get see more boats in the water and talk to different people, not everybody wants storage either, so it's it's a mixed bag. Uh, but once we commit to the size doors, we're committed to it. The doors are made up custom that big. So uh, the the only variable is the size doors. That shouldn't be a, an issue for the historical board. It ain't going to change anything. <clears throat> what the board's going to see or want. I mean, it's the doors are the doors. That should be my prerogative to put what I need for doors to make the project successful. But we are staying with the envelope that we agree, the colors, the size, the landscaping, and everything we talked about. That That's gospel. The variable size doors, you, you say that they should be variable, but it's. I would no, personally what, want to know what they were. 12, 12, 8... 10, 12, or 14. You said 16. No, that, that height was 16. 16, okay. So it's height, so 16. It's, you're talking, basically, we're gonna have probably some eight foot doors in the smaller building. 10 foot doors for smaller craft that gotta be ha carried in. Uh, you're gonna go anywhere from eight to 14 foot doors, basically. That's you, the span. You did say in the beginning that this project is 80% doors. 80% will be doors, correct. The whole face will be door, which is columns. Are we ready to open it up to public comment? And then we'll come back for discussion, so I'm opening it up to public comment. Is there a public comment? Anybody? Nope. All right. In that case, I will leave public comment open until we have a motion. Um, you know. You didn't do a motion for disapproval. You did. Oh, yeah, Felicia, thank you. Yes, sorry. Felicia Penn. Everybody knows who Felicia is? Uh, she had sent us an email. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I have an early morning procedure, and I am unavailable to attend this meeting, but I wanted to suggest that if the applicant would make storage facilities look more like 
old storage barns or other structures fitting to the area, even a reflection of the original boat storage building of Hyannis Marina, it would be more acceptable. Uh, as proposed now, it looks like a metal rectangle, which obviously does not fit into a square system. Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you put the microphone closer? Would you like me to read it again? No problem. Well, I'll read the whole thing. I have an early morning procedure and I am unavailable to attend this meeting, but I wanted to suggest that if the applicant, can you hear okay? Yep. If the applicant would make the storage facilities look more like old storage barns or other structures fitting to the area, even a reflection of the original boat storage building of Hyannis Marina, it would be more acceptable. As proposed now, it looks like a metal rectangle, which obviously does not fit in a historic district. That was from, from Alicia Penn, dated this morning. That's why we went with the pitch roof, just to avoid that. That's the whole look of the have building. A, a motion for disapproval, but we can probably adapt this one. Motion for, usually we have two. Oh, the people with the books have them. Okay. So, um, okay. So public comment is open. Right, I'm leaving it open. So discussion amongst the commissioners. Deliberation. How do you feel about it? Commissioner Cronin. I would like to um, take the advice of uh, the Jim from the planning to um, bring more information back so we can kind of settle on what exactly this is going to look like as far as this historic, if this was in a industrial area or something other than uh, the Hyannis Harbor historic, I would say it probably wouldn't matter, but it does matter. I think it'd be important to know more specifics. Um, and then I, I do have a clarification on, um, they said self-storage is prohibited, and I know that there's still being discussions on that, but um, this personal gear couldn't in some way be self-storage type of items and not just marine, so I just wanna make sure that we get some clarification on that. Um, but I would like to wait and get some more information on specifics. It's just too vague right now. Um, no more information, as far as you got it all. I can't bring anything new. We can come here five times. You got everything I got. Any Nothing other, else this year. Any other commissioners? I have a few comments, but I'd like to go later. Um, I agree we must always be polite. I yeah. agree with Laura. I'd like to just see one final plan, not just all scattered all over on different uh, photos. Um, okay. I'll go back to anyone else. I, uh, I also find it vague. Uh, there's too many things that go back and forth. But you said something in the very beginning. You said basically what this project is is basically metal boxes. And well, we I... We want to make them look like metal boxes. That's why we dress them up. I, I agree with you. They look like metal boxes. But the, that's my personal opinion by it, by, by what it is. But uh, the, I do think it's too, my personal opinion, and I'm only one vote here if it goes to vote, is that it, it is too vague. We would want some pinning down on no, things. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. I, I'm just really sorry to apologize. I don't, you don't need to apologize. Am I speaking loud enough now? Does, can anyone else What's hear me? What's happening is you're speaking. Sometimes we can hear it through the microphone, and other times you're not. Maybe you could put the microphone closer. No problem at all. Okay. Jim, can you hear me okay down there? Hear you fine. Yep. And the two of you can hear me way down there? Okay, excellent. So I, th I agree with Commissioner Cronin and Commissioner Doherty. Were you the other one I said? To, to, I'd like further pinning down on that because we have an obligation to do our best to protect the historic character and the, the appearance, and this is our harbor, and our harbor is very precious to the town of Barnstable. So we want to be careful about, um, about that appearance and protecting it. I appreciate that. Again, we'll bring back, come back again, but this is basically what we have to share with you. Okay. And I, I just wanna tell you, we, we, done the best we can to what we have to work with. And I'll come back again with just the roofs. Uh, maybe we'll have most of the doors pinned down. And outside of the doors, there's on and off a lot I, I have. I don't want to waste everybody's time. I'm happy to come back. I'm not happy, but I'll come back. 
but it's basically what you see is what the project is. I mean, it's it's not a uh, you know it's not five stories with twenty thousand feet, a hundred thousand feet. It's just a small, simple. Couldn't be any simpler. <clears throat> couldn't be any simpler what we're building. So then have a fence around this? No fence. He said no fence. But, and no screening then. Just just Trees. landscape screening. Trees. Uh, do I understand you correctly that you're okay with uh, there being a motion to continue this to the next meeting? And I would ask, with that happening, that you liaise with our planning department uh, staff with regard to things that they have highlighted tonight that we would appreciate clarification on. Is that acceptable? Very happy to work with them. No Thank you. So uh, in that case, I am going to close public comment, and I'm going to invite one of the commissioners to make a motion for a continuation, and it will be a roll, roll call vote. Make it official. I'll make the motion that we continue this. To the next meeting. Next sure. meeting is... Memory? Uh, June 7th. June 7th. Okay. June 7th. Isn't that V-Day or something? Yeah. <laughs> December is there a 7th was a bad day. Is there, <laughs> is there a second on that, please? Second. Okay. Commissioner Kay. Could I have back the drawings that I passed out, um, if I could? Uh, if we need them. more copies, I'm happy to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Guess what? You can't reach there. Thank you. You gave to us, right? You can hold those. Yeah, okay. that's not uh, Commissioner Kay. Aye. Commissioner Doherty. Aye. Commissioner Clark. Commissioner Cowley. Aye. Commissioner Cronin. Aye. I also say aye. Thank you very much for working with us on that. I got enough time for refreshments next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Just laying them out now. Okay, we have five more to do before seven. Hey, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody has any questions, I'm, I'm available anytime. I'm sure they can find me. Not a problem. Any thoughts or ideas? We're always open to something that adds to the project. Always. Thank you. I just think there's just a big need for this down here. All right. So the next one up will be Keith Young from Massachusetts. Uh, are we doing that one? Oh, no, those are the three. So Con Conrad uh, Watson, 278 Main Street, Hyannis, map 327, parcel 099. This is with regard to a paint color change. Hi. Welcome. I'm sorry. Can I ask you to sign in, please? It's a 45 year old briefcase. Still there. It works. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask you to tell us a little bit about your project, please? Well, um, this property used to be Sunnyside. And we actually uh, purchased this last October. And we are going to make it a cafe. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to serve um, coffee, pastries, and like sandwiches to go. And we're uh, applying for signs, mm -hmm. uh, which we are actually working uh, with Matt. Okay. And then also the flags. And the color is just because we own the two buildings side by side. We just want to make it, uh, you know, color uh, match, you know, like mm -hmm. the same color and makes it nice. So, Mr. Chairman, if I may, real quick, just a clarifier. So, uh, there are two applications before you. That's oh, 278 yes. Main Street, oh, gotcha. as well as 282 Main Street. And as the applicant mentioned, <laughs> yeah, I was, thank you so much for pointing that out. So, I'm just going to read this one in. Also, Conrad Watson, DBA Mariner Cafe, yeah, at again. 282 Main Street, Hyannis, Map 327, Parcel 098. And this is with regard to a new business signage. So. If it's all right with you, we'll consider both of these together. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's fine. Okay. So <laughs> now I see it. <laughs> yeah. So we just want to, um, as you see, manners. I mean, you know, like sunny side. Mm -hmm. We make the color. Two eighty-two and two seventy-eight will be the same color. 
-hmm. You know, and um, mm -hmm. and the sign, like I said, we're working with um, Matt Clark on the sign, and we, I, you know, whatever that you guys allowed for the, what do you call it, like the size and. Who are you working with? Uh, Conrad Watt. I mean, uh, Matt Clark. Oh. Matt Clark down here on the sign. Are you gonna? Are you gonna have a separate door for the two places? Oh yeah, because they are, they are different th buildings. This here we only see one door, and yet this is Mariner Cafe and General Store this next is door. Right here, the second one application. Yeah, but this is two seventy eight. Right. Can I can I go back? Yeah. It, it, I should always remind people, all the commissioners when we're here, if, if anyone has worked on, to always ask if there's any recuse, now I'm doing it, if there's any recusals, if you've been, you know, if you're part of the application and been working on the application. No recusals? I did, my company designed the signage. Should I recuse? I can, nobody can ever tell a person to recuse, but if you're, if you're involved in it financially or through business or through family, it is always, a, in my opinion, a best idea to, to recuse. Okay, proper. recuse. Okay, thank you. And, and I also want to just to clarify, uh, Commissioner Clark is, is new. This is what, your third, fourth meeting, something like that? So you're still learning. We're, we all have this wonderful vertical learning curve. So, and I'm new too. <laughs> I never been to this meeting before. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. So the the idea is that uh, we are gonna have 282 Main Street as a Mariner Cafe, you know, uh, as a cafe over there. Mm -hmm. But we would like to put the sign also at our on our property at 278 Main Street. Okay. So it's side by side. Okay. And make it all color coded the same, and uh, you know, just put the sign on that side so people can actually see it mm -hmm. uh, from the others, from like the train station. I mean, the train station, the transportation center. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that's all. So it's a side by side. I see it. Yeah, it's side yeah, by like side. This. Yeah, just like that. So it's sunny gonna be side. Two doors. This is the sunny side. So. And that's the uh, one on the that's corner. The Mariner Cafe is over there. Yeah, the Mariner Cafe. But it's on the wrong building. Mm -hmm. And yeah. staff has verified that this is these colors are within the historic district color scheme. It's also here. That's it. Hmm? It's also here. It's also here. It's also here. Yeah. Oh, you're going to put Mariner Cafe on both buildings. Yeah, that's what we were thinking oh, to God. do. So <laughs> <laughs> they're side by side. <laughs> they're side by side. <laughs> Okay, I didn't see it. It's a very because small that's alley. This in one is in the corner, and yeah. so you know. I'm so very you'll familiar see. with the building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the body of the building is Duxbury Gray. Which color is that? I don't see that over here. The building. Uh, it's wait a minute. Duxbury this one here. Gray. It says Duxbury Gray. Yeah, which one is that? It's actually this. Uh, I believe the proposal's for Stonington Gray. It is Stonington Gray and Duxbury Gray. The Stonington Gray is for the windows this, trim, yeah. corbels, and the detail. The Duxbury Gray is for the body and the alternate trim. Okay. Color scheme. Yeah. So, um, Which one is Duxbury? It's a lighter color, isn't it? The Duxbury? And the darker yeah, is... Oh, no, it's this one here that you can see. Yeah, it looks like there's yeah. a writing on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's Stonington oh, Gray. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, this one is the Stonington Gray is the trim that's going to be. So this one is the Duck's Bar. This one is the Stonington. And the body of and trim is the outside. Yeah. That's yeah. the middle one. Yeah, yeah the, the, the yeah, outside yeah, is, the is the Stonington. And then the trim outside is this. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not you're, you're keeping the same windows, right? Yeah, the same. Everything is the same. Yeah, the same. Yeah, we're not touching the windows. We're just painting them. Okay. Any further questions on the presentation? And they're all on, on the I don't know 
what slide that is. The, on, on the this side here, there's all sorts of flower boxes on there now. I did, yeah. Are you going to keep those? Oh, yes. We're going to keep those. Yeah. Flower. I like the flower boxes, too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Any further questions from the commissioners? How about staff? Any comments? I would just note that uh, the sign that's being proposed, or a few of the signs that are being proposed are slightly larger than allowed by zoning. So uh, any any decision would just reference that the, the size would be uh, in compliance with zoning. Yeah, because we don't have a picture of the signs the way, the way they want, want it, do we? Oh. Oh. Okay. It says sandwich board, but does... Yeah, what we have, we're going to have one sandwich board. And then uh, we are going to Jim, does the the, the, the size would have they would have to comply. The signs meet the colors, right? Mm -hmm. And they also meet the requirements for the number of signs. Correct. We don't exceed those. Okay. Can you say which boards are allowed? Uh, yes, A-frame signs are allowed. Um, one one A-frame sign and it has to have get a license on sidewalk. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open it up to public comment. One other question. Oh, sorry. The east facing, the east side of this uh, Duxbury Gray building, somebody wrote up there, coffee, pastries, and sandwiches on above the windows. Is that supposed to be a sign? Coffee, pastries, and sandwiches. Yeah. We would like to put that over there like that. Lettering. Lettering. Would it be the same font and everything as what's in the front? Yes. It's going to be the same. Lettering, but not a sign. Lettering, yeah, but it's, um, see, the thing is the size and everything like that, we don't really, I mean, you know, it's, we are going to follow what you tell us to do. Okay. You know, like what size that it's actually allowed for us to do. But, uh, yeah, we would like to do that because then people will be able to see from. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I just see two formally designed signs, and then that's kind of handwritten on there. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, so you're going to go away thinking that that's not going to happen. <laughs> no, that's Conrad just put it in. Yeah, no, we're going to make it like the same as the front. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it'll be a great improvement. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I like, um, I like doing it too. <laughs> we didn't, do we have no public comment, is that correct? I'll leave it open while we have deliberation. And uh, commissioners, how do you feel about it? It looks great, I think. Very good. Yep. Are we ready for a motion? I will close public comment if one of the commissioners would like to make a motion. I'll make a motion. Okay. I, I move that the uh, commission find the application to be compatible with the preservation and protection of the district as dis uh, for 282 and 278 Main Street, Hyanna. Is there a second? Second. All right. Uh, Commissioner Kay. Hi. Commissioner Doherty. Hi. Commissioner Clark. I'm accused. Oh, that's right. I, thank you for reminding me. Uh, <laughs> good point. Uh, Commissioner Cowley. Aye. Commissioner Cronin. Aye. I also say aye. Would a commissioner like to make a motion on the certificate of appropriateness? Thank you. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'll make that motion. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion. I have moved to issue a certificate of appropriateness for the application at 278 and 282 Main Street, as described in the submitted materials, and also include the east facing formal signage. Second. Okay. Commissioner Cronin. Aye. Commissioner Crowley. Aye. Commissioner Doherty. Aye. Commissioner Kay. Aye. I also say aye. Now you're done. <laughs> and congratulations. Thank you. I think it's a Thank very you. nice. It's going to look beautiful. Thank it's, you. Good, it's a nice improvement. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck to you. <laughs> and thank you very much for waiting through a, a, a longer beginning. No, it's okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Leave. Uh, we still have a quorum. We do. Okay. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to go back up to Keith Young for. Uh, do we want to do Cuckoo's or do we want to do the. I, I believe Keith is here. Okay. 
So Keith Young from Massachusetts Air and Space Museum, 438 Main Street, Hyannis, map 309, parcel 219, with regard to a paint color change. And again, thank you for bearing with us. We had a lot of the time tonight. Thank oh, you. no problem thank at Thank you all. for being so patient. I, I, I appreciate you seeing me tonight. Um, I, I come from Peabody, so I had booked a room, and uh, so it made a... It was a little difficult to get canceled for tonight, so I appreciate it. Also, my anniversary is on June 8th when the next meeting is June 7th, so I would be sleeping in my car, and I know that's a different requirement. Um, we don't want to get you into trouble. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me send in. Tell us about your project. Um, as you may know, the Massachusetts Air and Space Museum uh, on Main Street opened in November. We uh, applied for a grant from the Main Street BID to improve the frontage of the space. We were approved for that grant uh, and we are seeking to uh, change the color of, I, I don't know what to call it, uh, it's sort of a greenish gray to a uh, more traditional uh, blue in the okay. color palette of the trim. This is the blue that you've identified in here? That is correct. Okay. Uh, the, the rest of the uh, colors will remain the, sta the same. The brick uh, will be cleaned, the sidewalk will be cleaned, uh, and all of that is, is ready to go pending the approval of this commission. Okay. Any I like questions? The sidewalks are going clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's to be very excited. And, and Stuart Painting is doing the work. They're very good. good they good are choice. very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, any question, questions with regard to the presentation? No? I don't have any questions. It would be an improvement. Yeah, absolutely. That thing, I well, staff, any? No, nothing further. Thank you. And they meet all the requirements absolutely. that we have? Absolutely. Yep. Okay, excellent. I'll open it up for public comment. And seeing that nobody's running through the door with a urgent question uh, or statement, I will then ask for discussion. How do the commissioners feel about this? I think it's an improvement. I think that's great. Well, I agree with that. The yeah, the thanks. It's going to be clean. The sidewalk's going to be clean. The paint's going to be uh, updated. And nobody needs to recuse or anything. Okay. And you're you're back in. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, are we ready for a motion? Yeah. And I'll close public comment. If you would like to make a motion, please, on the findings. Uh, I move that the commission find the application to be compatible with the preservation and protection of the district at uh, 438 Main Street. Uh -huh. Hi, Alice. I'll we'll second that. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Carley. Aye. Uh, Commissioner Clark. Aye. Commissioner Doherty. Aye. Commissioner Kay. Aye. I also say aye. Would a commissioner please feel free to make a motion on the certificate of appropriateness? I can make that. Okay. I move to issue a certificate of appropriateness for the application at 430-438 Main Street as described in the submitted material. Second. All right. <coughs> Commissioner Kay. Aye. Commissioner Doherty. Aye. Commissioner Clark. Aye. Commissioner Carley. Aye. I also say aye. And congratulations. Thank you very it, much for your time. It's a nice improvement. It. Thank you so much. Oh, and, and, and I hope you all have a chance to stop by sometime. And, um, and it, it, it's really an, an interesting place. I think you'll uh, learn a lot. I think my grandson would love it. Well, it, it's not just for, not just for kids. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Kids come big and small. Yes, so. yes they do. Yeah, we, 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 we are lifelong learners. There you go. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you. Okay. So we managed to get through um, more than I thought we might. Do we have the other two applicants here for the other two? Is anybody? No. You haven't heard it from? Well, yeah. I heard from Amelia. I'm like, yes, they're coming. That's what I thought, yeah. Have we ever had 
Having hors d'oeuvres? Yeah. Maybe they're in there, thinking they they're supposed to be in there. I, I, I wonder, too. That, that looks more interesting if they offer food. <laughs> remember, we're still... Yeah, remember, we're still on camera. A lot of people on the, uh, on the snack line, but I don't see <laughs> anybody waiting for it to be heard. Well, in that case, let's bounce down to the minutes and deal with that. Uh, the minutes from May 3rd. Has everybody read them? And you, you know, I have to, is it Callie or Collie? Oh, it is Collie. I thought I was missing. I apologize. That's okay. Any changes? Nope. Not for me. Would one of the commissioners like to make a motion for to accept the minutes from May 3rd? I move that we accept the meet, meeting minutes from May 3rd. Is there a second? Second. Aye. Commissioner Clark. Aye. Commissioner Doherty. Aye. Commissioner Kay. Aye. I also say aye. So the minutes are accepted. Um, matters not reasonably anticipated. I, I did have something I wanted to raise. Um, I had mentioned it to you when we ran into mm -hmm. each other. Um, in, in full disclosure, uh, I work for a startup that's trying to facilitate development into Ukraine, and I have the opportunity to work with some amazing, courageous university students there. Uh, two of my partners are in Kiev, and they underwent shelling uh, the other day. Um, so one of the things we're trying to do is to try to kind of create uh, a better understanding. And we've thought about looking into the Sister Cities program. And we're, we're really just getting a little traction on that. So I thought I would raise that as a possibility. Not that it has anything to do with, with what we do, but uh, just to to try to find out what would be the best channel to do that mm -hmm. or recommendation for that. And if I'm completely out of line, that's, that's fine. I'm still, I'm still finding my way. The, um, when you mentioned it to me, I said we do have a sister city with Barnstable, England. But I didn't know if there any, if anyone have any, I, it's not my, my scope of information, but uh, Jim, it looks like you have something. Oh, is this? Uh, I mean, we can certainly talk more about uh, you know your thoughts on the matter, and we could certainly bring it to the town manager's attention or, or others, and and perhaps council if uh, if they're interested in engaging in the topic. So but we can certainly sit down, sit down and talk about that. All right, Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Jim's the one to, to go to on that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, for the matters that we've uh, passed over for the moment. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be in attendance tonight. Um, if we could just make a formal motion to continue those matters to the subsequent meeting, that way okay. uh, we're covered there. And I think we can, uh, there are two of them, so I think we can do them together, is that correct, rather than separately? So I'm going, I'll make the motion that we continue the Tim Gaudet DBA Cuckoos and the Camilla Valanti DBA Gone Akai from respectively the 372 brackets, open, closed brackets, 366 Main Street, Hyannis, and the 561 Main Street, Hyannis, to our next meeting, which is June 7th. Is there a second on that? Second. Commissioner Cawley. Aye. Commissioner uh, Clark. Aye. Commiss Commissioner Doherty. Aye. Commissioner Kay. Aye. I also say aye. So those are continued. Is there anything else that we haven't managed? I think we've got that. Uh, I thank everybody for coming. Thank you for staff. Thank you to our town council liaisons for attending tonight. And um, we'll take entertain a motion for adjournment, please. I'll move that we adjourn. Is there a sec seconded? Uh, Commissioner Kay? Aye. Commissioner Doherty? Aye. Commissioner Clark? Aye. And Commissioner Colley? Aye.